We're here for our monthly event where I offer a Reiki experience for you, and then uh, we'll offer the energy and your love and compassion and wishes for peace out into the world as well. Uh, and then when we're all done with that, we'll uh, hang out for a few minutes and I'll take some questions in the chat if you'd like. And um, uh, that's usually how we do it. And so as we get started here, I'm going to uh, click off of this graphic and I'll show you that I do have my Reiki grid here. And this is all set up for world peace and healing. And if you've uh, requested to be in the grid before, you're still in the grid. If you're new to the grid experience, uh, what I want to do is invite you to put in the chat uh, that you'd like to be in there. And um, oh, nice. OK. And so um, I'm just checking this the chat right now. And um, oh, that's an interesting thing there. Um, OK, so sorry about the distraction. All right, so things are getting busy busy here. And what I want to say is that these crystals are charged with Reiki energy and the highest of intentions for all who are named in the grid. And you can name whoever you'd like to be in the grid because Reiki always respects free will. And so it's if they're not open to receive it, it's not going to do a thing you know, for or against them. And of course, Reiki can never cause harm. So we never have to worry about any of that, which is one of the reasons I love Reiki. And I love teaching Reiki. And uh, it's just unlike anything else. So I'm glad you're here. And um, I'm just going to check the chat real quickly. And it looks like we have people chatting on both Facebook and uh, YouTube. So it looks like everything's working. I tried to put a little thing out on Instagram earlier and I just didn't connect. So I don't know what that was all about. I do want to do a special shout out to all my subscribers over on YouTube. Do you know we're over 60,000 strong in our subscriber community on YouTube? I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. So uh, welcome. And here we are. And I would invite you now. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath. And let's go ahead and intend to be present now with me. Energy is not bound by time or space. Whether you watch now, here with me live or later, we can and do meet and share Reiki and intention together. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to take a few deep breaths, allowing your thinking mind to settle down. You are free to relax. Everything else can wait. And I am now offering you the highest frequencies of Reiki energy for whatever is in your highest good. And if you feel guided to do so, you may invite now with your intention higher levels of spiritual consciousness. Some call guides, some call angels, but you may invite any of those special beings that you might be familiar with to join you in your space. And this is completely up to you.
I'm going to begin by placing my hands at the crown of your head, offering you Reiki at your crown. You may see colors or feel sensations in your body, or you may not. Each individual perceives energy in different ways, some more aware than others. You are invited to intend to receive whatever is in your highest good. And the team that you have assembled around you, if you have chosen to do so, is present, holding space for you, and also offering the support and healing that is in your highest good. Together, we work for you. Moving my hands now, I place one hand over each of your ears, offering Reiki at this location. As it fills your head with vital healing life force energy. See, feel, imagine, and intend that this Reiki energy is light. And as you visualize it filling your body, infusing your head with this brilliant light, allow yourself to surrender. Letting any fears, any anxieties all worries and troubles to be absorbed in this light and transmuted no longer your burdens. And this light now infuses lower, going into your neck and bathing your throat chakra. And intend that all the words that have been caught up in your energy because you felt you could not express them for whatever reason, the energy of those words and those expressions not expressed is released now into the light. Absorbed and transmuted. Freeing up your energy.
and I place my hands upon your shoulders, offering you Reiki here. Sensing the burdens that you've been carrying. And you're invited to claim now. that in your sovereign energy, carrying the burdens that belong to others and are of their own creation are now released. For you are responsible for your own creations. Moving down the body now, I place my hands over your heart center. There's so much love here, so much compassion that you have, caring and concern and wishes for better in the world. You care deeply. And we invite this Reiki energy to balance the love you give with the love you receive. Receive love now. The light of this healing life force energy continues to saturate and infuse your body. And I place my hands at your solar plexus. And the message here for you is that you were born to be here now. It is by design. Trust your innate guidance. You have a wisdom beyond your conscious mind, and you are invited 
to trust. You matter. And you affect this world in ways you cannot fathom. With a power beyond your dreams. Moving my hands down now. Over your second chakra area, your abdomen. Infusing your body now with the Reiki healing light. Reawakening your creativity. and inviting the child within you to heal and blossom in ways that it has not felt comfortable before. Welcome your inner child with your loving embrace of who you know you are in this moment. moving my hands over the root now, deep into the hips and the tailbone, the whole of your head, neck, upper chest and torso now filled with light, filled with healing potential, and the invitation to release and let go finally of all you no longer need. The hurts of yesterday need not hold you back from this moment on. Allow this light to reestablish your foundation in a grounded way upon the planet, claiming your space, claiming your mission at this time on Earth, recommitting to this lifetime. With enthusiasm you had upon entering. Be here now.
You are part of a community. To bring light, love, and healing to the earth at this time in the evolution of humanity. And you are invited to claim this truth now. Embodying the light with a strength and brilliance unlike any moment before this one. Claiming the power of who you really are in this moment. Embodying that now in ways you have previously resisted. Releasing the fears of knowing your own worth, purity, and power. And I place my hands now upon your feet. Allowing the energy to now pull down through your body, through your crown, your head, your neck, your chest, your abdomen, pelvis, and each leg fully and completely and out the soles of your feet, bringing with it all you no longer need, all you have released, all limiting beliefs and illusions that you have previously agreed to. You need not agree any longer. Allow this flow of energy to continue. Balancing, cleansing, releasing, and healing every aspect of who you are, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Renewing your vitality. Renewing your capacity to know joy, to know love, to know peace, and to create from these emotions, from these high vibrational plateaus of higher level consciousness bringing into form, bringing this light to the earth plane. Fulfilling your mission. Allow this light to empower you to fulfill whatever you plan to accomplish in this lifetime. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are safe to express. Who you really are. Your authentic vibration. Without apology. Without editing. Without fear.
and as you resonate. Filled with this healing light. I would invite you to place your hands upon your heart. And allow yourself to name anyone or anything that you would like us to include as we send and offer this energy, the brilliance of life force energy outward to whoever it is that has your heart's attention. You may name them now and they are free to accept or not. We simply offer this energy to them with intention that it meets them and offers them whatever it is that is in resonance with their highest good. And include your own name now, so we may all offer you this energy together. You're invited now to intend that whoever it is that you have named in your heart continue to receive this energy for as long as is, for as long as it is in their highest good. And this does include you, in fact, as well. Reiki for you, Reiki for you, Reiki for you, and all who have been named in writing or in your heart space. May we each know more peace, love, understanding, and truth. As we walk the path and fulfill our purposes on earth. In love and light, together we are. And I would invite you to Take a couple of deep breaths. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes and return. All right. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed that. Oh uh, my goodness, I didn't really know where we were going to go today. I try not to, I used to plan these things all the time and I used to write them out. So if you've, you know, uh, tuned into older videos, you probably uh, are aware of that. But I used to write a script and the whole thing and, you know, things evolve. And um, so interesting, interesting today, sort of like a, a Reiki treatment with me. And so I do hope that you enjoyed that. And um, oh, namaste. Yes, I'm looking at the, the chat here. So uh, beautiful. And um, I guess now we can transition if anybody has any questions. Uh, it is a little helpful to me if you will um, write out the word question, you know, at the beginning of your chat. It helps me kind of see uh, what's going on uh, in the chat box because there, there are a lot coming through. And I see both platforms at the same time. Oh, I see question. Okay. Oh, all right. Hold on just a second. Let's see. It's going really fast. Um, uh, normal to, uh, I don't know what this is. I'm going to show it on the screen here. Uh, normal to be a blueberry mess at our chakra during my first experience. I don't know what that means. Uh, see, I really don't know what that means. Uh, a blueberry mess at heart chakra. Uh, I don't know. But what I will say to you is there's no right or wrong. And um, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, sometimes when we see imagery or get impressions, it is, it is uh, energy from our subconscious bubbling up. And so sometimes we have memories come up while we do Reiki. Sometimes we see imagery and things like that. Uh, but it's a little similar. Uh, well, it's more than a little. It's similar to dreaming and how your uh, other levels of consciousness surface in dreams and send you messages. And when we receive Reiki, we will often uh, have similar experiences to that, where things we haven't thought of in a while surface, we might... Uh, have symbology, you know, trying to tell us messages and things like that. So uh, if you want to know anybody who sees those things or, or thinks there's something to what they're experiencing, my advice is to ask your inner guidance in a quiet moment what that was all about and, uh, and see what comes to you for the answer. Because anytime we ask someone else th what the meaning is, it's not 100% without falsity, because it's coming through another source. You and your inner guidance is absolutely 100% the, the mechanism to bring truth to you. So just keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with asking other people's opinions. Just keep in mind it is, it is an opinion of someone else. All right. Uh, and, and listening to what comes to you, I would recommend that be your authority, your final say. Thank you for that. Okay, see, let's see. Any other questions here? A question, where is the solar plexus? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, hi, Deb. Great to see you. Um, I am going to put that on the screen. So uh, the solar plexus is, okay, let me, I, I need to rearrange some things here. Move some furniture. Uh, I like to talk with my hands too, and so the the Reiki grid doesn't help me do that very much. Okay, so I'm still kind of close to it. Um, what I will say is the solar plexus is whoa down here. Um, it's the soft tissue is just below where your rib cage is, and that's the solar plexus. Um, so that was that was that. Oh, look, somebody said that they burped a lot. Tammy did. I don't mean to out you in front of everybody, but um, you did put it in the chat. So Tammy Ken Kennelly, that's funny. It's kind of like Kennedy. But Tammy said that she started to burp a lot. That is so normal. Okay, so when we receive Reiki, one of the things that uh, can happen is our stomach starts to growl. Uh, we might burp. We might yawn a lot. We might notice more saliva, that, so we might be, uh, uh, what do I want to say, swallowing more. Um, some people have more gas during Reiki, but I think that that is um, not very common. Um, I don't hear about that, that that often. And why is that? Because Reiki helps shift our bodies from the uh, stress mode 
uh, sympathetic mode to the parasympathetic mode. And the parasympathetic mode of the nervous system is all about restoring, relaxing, digesting, you know, it's that mode of quiet. So where you have fight or flight, and then you have rest, digest and restore mode. And so in as we relax into that mode of the nervous system, digestive juices start flowing. And so that's why we'll often have the, the stomach growling and things like that. Um, but burping is just it's a, another way to release another way to release. So very, very normal. So I appreciate your comment there. Oh, hi, Katya. Yes, good to see you. Oh, here, let's see. Here's a here's a question. Uh, I joined a bit late. Hope I got healing my ankle. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't believe in limits. And I don't really believe in rules so much about these kinds of things. And there have been some really amazing things that happen for people who watch the video. Now, you don't have to be live to benefit. And this video will uh, remain on YouTube. Uh, I guess it'll remain on Facebook. But Facebook's been a little persnickety. I'm going to use that word. Facebook's been a little persnickety. And they'll mute some of my videos and things thinking I have music in them. And there's no music. So what I will tell you, though, is the full video unedited will live on YouTube after the live stream is done. And then um, at, when we're finished, I'll edit the video and I'll just cut it down to the Reiki part. And I'll add some music to that. And then I'll repost that tomorrow on YouTube. So you can always come back to it. You know, energy isn't bound by time or space. And amazingly enough, it comes through the videos. And if you doubt that, then simply look at some of the comments on the videos and you'll soon see that people from all over the world uh, comment and attest to the the Reiki working for them, even uh, months and months or years after the videos have been made. So welcome uh, to the video. And if you are late, no worries, uh, no worries. Just intend that you receive for your highest benefit. All right. Oh, hi, Michelle. Great to see you. I recognize some people uh, from other live streams and from interactions I've had with them and also some of my students that are here. So uh, it's wonderful to see. Um, it's wonderful to to uh, see you. Aha. C said blubbery crying. So that was at the heart chakra, right? Is that what you were trying to say? So yeah, so I will hear from people through the comments on YouTube that, uh, or even in sessions with people. Now I don't see individual people anymore for Reiki sessions, but I have to tell you, crying is another way to release. So it's funny, that's kind of like a theme. So we have burping and yawning and, you know, those other things that I mentioned, um, is one way that we know energy is moving, uh, and or releasing and crying is another one. So at, if, if I, I can't remember what I said at the heart chakra. Um, yeah, I can't remember what I said there. But anyway, the crying is another way to release. And I can't tell you how many times I've made people cry. And But I know it sounds bad, but it's actually wonderful because the crying is a release of energy, uh, energy that you're ready to release, ready to move through. Sometimes with Reiki, we'll cry or, you know, the client will cry and they don't even know why. And I would always encourage people to not hold it back. Just let it go. Cry until you just can't cry anymore. Or don't want to cry anymore um, because that is a healing reaction. And so let that come out. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. So here's another question. Uh, Mario. Hi, Mario. What is the most profound Reiki experience that you've ever had? Oh, my gosh. How to how to even answer that? I don't know. So many stories. So many stories. Um, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this one story just because it's really um, it's a story I like to to tell because uh, I think it illustrates that it's all about the Reiki. It isn't about the practitioner. And um, I had a, a new client come in and 
I had never met her before. And on her intake form, you know, I asked, you know, what brings you to have a Reiki session? And she said uh, something vague, like stress reduction or something like that. Okay. So I was going into the session, really not knowing anything about her. And I did the session. Now I do want to say, you know, this is another reason I like the, the story. I didn't feel good that day. Uh, I did not feel good. I had a, a terrible headache and I really just wanted, and I'm not kidding. I wanted to go lay in the corner because I felt terrible, but I also know Reiki and I knew that Reiki does not depend on me. The Reiki does the helping. It isn't about me. So even though I wanted to go lay in the corner that day when I went in to see clients, I muscled through and I offered the Reiki. And after that session, this client kind of sat there and she didn't say much. And I thought I was a little worried. I thought, well, I, I hope she enjoyed that. You know, I didn't know really what to think. And she left. Okay. So I, I let it go. And about a week later, she appeared on my schedule again because they could go on and, and schedule online. She came back in and she apologized to me for being so quiet and uh, reserved after the session. She really didn't say much. And I reassured her that's totally fine. But she wanted to come back for another session and also explain why she was so quiet. And she went on to tell me that even though she didn't put it on her form that she filled out for me to know, she had been plagued uh, with recurring thoughts that were very, um, I, I don't know what the word would be. These thoughts were, they were overtaking her, causing her much stress, uh, interruption to her life. Distracting is not a, a strong enough word she was just very much overtaken by these thoughts and emotions that, that came along with the thoughts. And she was desperate when she had come in for that first session. Well, I didn't have any idea that that was the case. And I just did the session. She went on to tell me that when I started the session, all of the thoughts just completely disappeared that she had never known such quiet in her mind. And she was really caught off guard because she'd never had Reiki before. She didn't know what to expect. And to have that night and day difference about the plaguing thoughts that would were relentless and then a completely peaceful and quiet mind, she was a bit dumbfounded, I guess, is the maybe a term to use. She was, she said that she just didn't say a lot to me because she couldn't figure out what in the world had happened during the session. And she couldn't, she, I guess she was having trouble processing. And I share that story. Oh, and then I will follow up and say, I kept in touch with her. The thoughts never returned. She never shared with me what they were. It's not important. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say about that is she said she even had trouble remembering what it was that bothered her. It was almost sort of like a, an amnesia sort of thing. And I just find that so remarkable because I think it speaks to the power of Reiki, knowing what this woman needed. It didn't depend on me to know what she wanted help with because I didn't know. And furthermore, it did not uh, depend on me feeling good, you know, or uh, anything. All I did was offer the Reiki. And when a practitioner just offers the Reiki, that energy of Reiki has wisdom. And when it meets with the energy of of the person that is re in reception of the energy, beautiful things happen. And it's not about the practitioner, what they know or don't know, or if they have a, a, an ailment or aren't feeling, you know, 
And isn't it amazing? Everyone can learn Reiki. Everyone can help others with Reiki as well as themselves, of, of course. But uh, I hope you find that story interesting. Uh, it is one of my favorites, but I've seen so many things. It's hard to quantify, but thank you, Mario. Uh, let's see. I'll take a couple more questions, maybe. Let's see. Um, let's see. It's just the next one I see. I don't even know what it is. Why did my arms ache like crazy during a Reiki treatment? It brought tears to my eyes. Was it related to my heart? Well... It could, it could have been, uh, but you know what? You bring, you bring something to mind, and that is, you know, Reiki is pretty mysterious, and um, it's a little hard to quantify and put into boxes. And so, if we think about it, what we are able to sense, you know, hot, cold, or tingles or pain, you know, in locations, that's pretty limited. All right. When you compare it to all of the different things that 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 the sensations could mean, right? So we're we're we only have a set number of sensations that we can register, but yet the meanings are pretty much limitless. And so for me or anyone else to say, oh, well, when you feel this, it means that, you know, I don't put a lot of stock in that. Now. I had said earlier at some point, everything's a blur to me right now, but I'm pretty sure while I've been with you today, I've said something about ask your internal guidance, ask inwardly your question and see what answer you're, you're led to on that. Because again, you are the authority about tuning into the truth of not only who you are, but your experience as well. Um, let me reread this again. Um, arms ache like crazy. Okay. Sometimes in uh, during a Reiki treatment, there is pain and discomfort. Sometimes that, and you notice I say sometimes, there's no set rule. And you know, I'm really glad about that because if we knew all the answers and could say this means that and you know, blah, 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 that'd be pretty boring. I think I have been... Uh, in the Reiki world as long as I have, simply because we don't know everything. It's a mystery, so it keeps me curious. But what I will say is sometimes we do have discomfort. Sometimes there's pain. Uh, and sometimes a cause for that can be that the energetic pathways um, are not clear. And so as the Reiki energy is trying to flow through your energetic pathways, and it can't, there's a resistance there, and that might be felt as pain. Other examples, though, of when pain happens can be uh, if there's an injury to the body, like a broken bone that's mending and healing, often Reiki will cause pain there. And that is thought to perhaps be because the energy is going to a very I mean, very active in your body place. I mean, there's lots of healing happening already naturally in the places of injury or broken bone. And so there's just so much energy surging to that location when we add Reiki to the equation that it can register as pain simply because the delta or the amount of change uh, occurring there is so great. Now, what we generally find um, I don't know if this was the case for you, but um, e in every instance I've ever had a client that experienced pain, it will sort of crescendo, you know, it'll increase in intensity, and then it releases and lets go. And what I have found through my own practice is that if, if the client can allow that cycle of intensity and then release, that is where the healing really happens. If, though, the pain is too uncomfortable and the client doesn't want to push through, that's fine. As a practitioner, we can move away, move off, and perhaps revisit it later and check in with the client and see how is it now? Is it any better? Because Reiki also flows uh, further than where our hands or our intention might be. And so that 
location of pain can also be treated, even if we're not directly near it. And so, again, the mysteries of Reiki, really, really interesting. I hope that that was helpful. Uh, let's see. I've got one. Oh, it's Mario again. Oh, that's the other question. Let's see. Maybe one more. Um, let's see what this one is. Jennifer asks, if you have someone visiting you in a dream, are they dreaming of you? Oh, um, interesting question. Uh, if the person has passed, then uh, it's my own my current level of understanding. That's all I can really offer. Um, but if the person is passed and no longer in the physical, it is my belief that if, when we dream of them and it's it's a visitation dream, they are, yes, intending to be there with you. But if we're just dreaming of uh, someone who's passed and it isn't, they aren't present in the dream, or if we're dreaming of someone, uh, anyone, you know, past or in physical form, and if we're dreaming of them, uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think that there's any rule about that. Maybe they're dreaming of you. Maybe they're thinking of you. Um, that's possible. But I certainly don't believe that that's an absolute. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just take, I don't know. I'll scroll down. I'll see if I have any other, um, any other things here. Okay. Last one, because we've been here almost an hour, and I know you guys all have things to do. Um, how long do the effects of Reiki last? And thank you. Oh, this is a great, great question. So thanks, Jennifer. So um, the the interesting thing is healing is healing is easy, and healing is very complex. There are a lot of factors, a lot of variables. So I shared a story earlier about the woman who had the repetitive, um, uh, relentless thoughts that, that were a huge problem for her. To my knowledge, as long as I kept in contact with her, that never happened. It never returned. And so if we assume that that kept happening, um, or if it's a pain, or if it's something like that, uh, the results can last forever. You know, if if the client has received the healing uh, in totality that they were that they were open to, there's no reason that it ever has to return. Uh, in other cases, the symptom or illness or whatever it is, the pain, it may return rather quickly. Uh, but there are a lot of factors with that. Um, we tend to assume number one, that all people want to be healed and feel 100%. And I would invite you to consider that, you know, some for some people, uh, they aren't ready to be completely healed yet for whatever reason. Uh, and it's not a judgment against those people or anything. It just means that we're very complex as individuals and we have different ideas of what health and healing are. Uh, one one example might be someone who uh, receives a lot of attention from others uh, because of their illness. And so there might be a part of them that likes that attention and fears that if they heal, the attention will go away. And again, not to be judgmental or, or anything like that. It's just human nature. And so sometimes that is at play. Um Anything else with that? Um, so there's there's shades of healing and people can interfere with the healing process or not for a variety of reasons. But again, there's no right or wrong there. There's no judgment. We're just kind of all doing the best that we can. And sometimes we need healing to take a little bit longer because we're learning lessons through it as well. So uh, that's another thing. Um, what I'll say in general is that um, I've had clients, I remember this one client, and he was in his 80s, and he would come uh, twice a month for his sessions. And he would say to me, Andrea, I always know when it's just about time to come back, because I start getting really mad at the other drivers on the road. 
<laughs> so he would come into the Reiki, you know, into the session, have his Reiki, and he'd just be on cloud nine and at peace with the world and loving everybody. And he could just drive and no road rage or anything like that, you know. Uh, but he knew uh, that it would start to wane, you know, about two weeks after and he'd catch himself, you know, uh, reacting to other drivers in kind of unfriendly ways. So that's just a little story to share with you about, um, you know, sometimes it wears off. And and why does it do that? Well, you know, life goes on. Uh, life goes on. And also, I would say that uh, we have patterns of the way we think and the way we react. And so receiving Reiki can help us uh, diffuse the, the strength of those patterns, that kind of thing. But I think it depends on how attached we are to certain patterns, how, uh, you know, going back for years, you know, I, I just think it's complicated. So uh, it can last any length of time, no right or wrong on any of that. And with that, we've been here just about an hour. And I want to thank you all so, so much for uh, being here with me for another month. And we'll be back January. I don't know what the date is, but it's always the first Thursday of the month. And we'll meet again. I don't know what we'll do next month. Uh, probably not a Reiki session. I don't know, because um, I, I like to vary it up. But I also follow my guidance on what to offer. So you know, there are a lot of holidays coming up uh, in, in the coming month. And I would invite us all to know joy and to wish joy for other people, no matter what they're celebrating or uh, where they are in the world. You know, we have a global community. And what a blessing it is that we can meet like this and come together and share energy with each other and positive and loving intentions. Um, it's, I, it's mind blowing really. What an exciting time to be alive. And I'm so grateful that you've been here with all of us today. And I thank you so, so much. Thank you, Terry. It's always lovely to see you. Yes. And Tammy and Crystal and everyone else. So I will sign off and I will see you in the ether. If you're interested in Reiki classes, join me live and online from anywhere in the world, mainstreamreiki.com. And also I'll see you on social media and all that good stuff. Whatever you celebrate, love, light, and peace to you and everyone you love and hold dear. May they know that as well. Thank you.